Let's roll. It don't start now, do it? Let's roll. Now do it again. It is officially garden season starting here for the spring garden. So what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Or what are we doing? We are just gonna put some paper down, some mark down, and make rows for us to walk on. And our goal here is to do weed suppression. So So let's talk about what what did we do last year for weed suppression? So we started prepping this last year to get our oh sorry. That's my toe. The, and my shin. The roll fell out. <laughs> Okay, so we started prepping doing this last year um, using this tarp method. Um, we used a combination of methods, honestly. So we started using the tarp method, um, and y'all seen us put tarps down, take tarps off, put animals in, let animals till and fertilize, put tarps back on. So now what we're doing is we're taking tarps off, we're going to hit our walking rows. So there's a row that our vegetables will be on, there's rows that we will walk up and down that we'll use utilize that are for us so so we'll like, drop this down in the description but this is just a cardboard paper instead of doing the cardboard like like you'd buy on boxes uh you know it's letter it has stuff all over it's been mailed this right here is fresh natural cardboard paper and uh, we think it's gonna work out really good they sell this yeah. in rolls of bigger inches 30 inches our our walk rows are only are 12 to 18 yeah so this is 18 inch so it's gonna work perfect so us. we're gonna row this down and then we're going to put bark on top of it right and um and then what are we gonna put on the actual garden spot? and then we're gonna put topsoil on our rows and then when we get done we're gonna cover it all back up with tarp until we're actually ready to plant which and is that will just three keep, weeks away yes like but that. that will just keep the sunlight from hitting the ground and giving it what it needs to make stuff grow until we're ready for the things that we want to grow. So that's just kind of what we're doing. Um, you, you're gonna see throughout the garden spots that are completely grass free right now and then you're gonna see spots that still have some grass. And it's because of the way that we've rotated um, because this is our first full year. But what would you say? By next year, I would think that our garden should be almost completely all right so what we've also done is we we use a, a flamethrower y'all seen videos of that so between the, the silage parts between like Misty said the animals now doing this this will be of course it is no till but this will be where we're now just doing a complete lasagna method to right. try not to get back on it period other than silage parts so uh here we go
Yeah, let's go ahead and make another row. This one's my favorite. <laughs> you like your mask. Uh, today we're going to be doing the same things we were working on yesterday. Actually getting the garden ready, doing some bark and some topsoil uh, in our no-till um, lasagna beds. So we're going to have a good time. First we're going to finish our coffee. And you see the kids are still asleep so they're going to get up. We'll let them uh, help us today and also uh, eat some breakfast and get out there. He's looking real good, and, he, and she is too. And then these other ones are big too, but those two, man, they're huge. So, they're doing really good. Oh, pigs are taken care of. Aiden's gonna finish up the rest of the pigs and the chickens and chores. You see, we've got this much done, which is only two rows. We've got several more rows to do. We're gonna try to knock out one, two, three, four, five more rows today. We've been trying, you know, farming and, and doing vegetable gardens can be a lot of work. And we know since we're doing it this way, the no-till method, plus doing silage, doing a lot of pre-prep, the whole purpose of pre-prep is so you're not having to do as much while you're actually working your garden, while you're actually picking your garden. So, you know, so, so we're trying to do a little bit at a time so we don't overload ourselves and burn out of garden season before garden season even starts. So we've got those done, now we're gonna work on these. Then we'll tarp these back, then work on that section, and, and so forth. So, we don't want to burn ourselves out, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we're prepping it right from putting our bark in our rows. We've already uh, forked these um, with a broad fork, so it's ready for topsoil, and those beds will be ready. Same way with these. We'll go and knock out all five of these today, finish these up. And... All right, so you see I got another row done. You see what we're doing? We're just taking this uh, cardboard paper, Normally, if it's thick cardboard or it's not bending, you wet it. Now, this is very thin cardboard paper. It's not a necessity, and probably it's a little too thin. I'd tell you to get a thicker meal than what this is. I think this is probably like a two meal or three meal, so I would definitely go with a thicker cardboard paper. But it is doing okay, because it's gonna help keep suppression down under this bark. And uh, basically, we're gonna just keep on going right here. That's the only grass in this whole garden, that one little spot, and that's where the pigs were last and where the silage tarps have not been. So that one little row right there, I think we're gonna put a weed barrier on it. You see how I got bricks just laid on that so the wind won't blow them? And then that way that's ready, and we'll work on this section next. Then we'll broad fork these sections. This has not been top sold yet, so we still got to put top soil on all these rows. I mean, that's good quality soil right there. You can see it's dark and lush, but that's because of the silage tarps. But we're gonna come back and add more top soil to make it even better. Uh, and then we'll use our organic fertilizer, fertilize it real good, and then uh, we'll be good to go to start planting. Like I said, I think we're going to start planting this next week, which will be two weeks before Easter. That's a little early for our area, but our temperature's been so crazy. We have had some frost, but sometimes I'm more, it's worth the risk to try to get a head start on everything. And I, I have enough row covers if worse come to worse and they're still trying to germinate or they start coming up too early we can uh, figure out something. So let's, let's, uh, let's go and get these done and then uh, we'll kind of look and see what it looks like when it's all finished. You see Misty and Aiden are working on the bark still. I started doing the topsoil. We're gonna do, how many did we, 18 rows? Is that what we said? 17 okay so we're gonna go 17 rows for summer which are gonna be all these rows they're looking great but we're gonna go and fill them up with bark and topsoil and then this right here will be simply fall okay so misty and them are working on that ellie's getting bricks to put on that as we dump so everybody's a family affair the two other girls are taking care of jj 
which is the hardest challenge of this whole thing. Up. You see, I only got about five more rows of topsoil, I mean, excuse me, bark to do, and then I got to start on topsoil. And then what we're going to do is take these rows like, and make this strictly winter. And now that way, that leaves cucumbers and corn down there on the ENF. So that's where the pigs and chickens spent most of their life. We got a lot of nitrogen drops there, so I think we'll be good. So let's get this rest of the salad cart moved. Well, you can see it's, it's getting a little warm out here, so I'm sweating. Uh, got a lot knocked out already. Six more yards, so we've got <clears throat> kind of the bucket right here. But you see, we've got um, one, two, three. We only got about one and a half rows left, and then uh, we'll start putting the topsoil on. So it's it's looking good. We've got to put once we do this, we're gonna do just like we did this other side. We'll put the the silage charts back on it because we're actually not gonna plant for probably another two weeks or so, um, just because. Uh, we still have a little cold snap every once in a while. You know, the Easter snap, it still gets pretty chilly one or two nights around that time. And I'd hate to have some things come up and all of a sudden get burned back down. So we'll watch it. If it looks like the temperature, like a 10 or 15 day forecast is looking pretty good, looking good and rainy, but at the same time not cold, we may plant this next weekend. But as of right now, we just need to get this done, get it ready, prep the other bed, and that way. Our garden season is focused on growing the garden versus prepping and weeding and all of the mess that we have to do sometimes. So. Well, as you can tell, it is dark. I just finished. Aiden wanted to shoot some, so we stopped there for a little bit to shoot. He's in 4-H shooting, so it's always good to spend some time with him doing that. So we finished up, garden is ready to plant. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.